Why, wait for me, Ray Gregory. Wait, hold up, buddy. Slow down. Hey, Ray, wait for me. Oh, hell, he's gone. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Oh, that's a black cat. Oh, he's a, he's a big one. Hello, Mr. Kitty Cat. Mm -hmm. He's a purring. Let me see if done my fan need lube this morning. Nope. After that tor uh, hurricane. Alrighty. We're gonna we're gonna head on out of here. Gotta watch my step here because sometimes a copper-headed rattle moccasin will be laying here. As you can see, it is a bright sunny day. What a wonderful day. I think I'll walk around. I'll take the long way. I gotta buckle up. Everything has a story in my life. That little green thing by the pole, I don't ever mow that area. That's a Cahaba lily. I found this down in the, down by the Sullivan Creek 20 something years ago, planted it, and every year it comes up with Cahaba lilies. Hey, I see the little heifer. <laughs> Here comes the little heifer. Can you believe the little heifer beat me to the back today? Look at this crap here. This will kill an old man in a heartbeat. Rocks his size. I just dust, stub my toe and I'd go face first into the concrete. All right, girl. Go, you gonna put my gloves on me, girl? Uh -huh. Hell, she won't do nothing for me. I take care of you. I you. Take care of you. I take care of you. You do what now? I take care of you. I clean your clothes. I fix food. Well, that's a small price to pay to be in what? That's a small price to pay. I fix your gloves. You fix. <laughs> That's a small price to pay to be in Old Max Company. Hell, I usually charge people to be in my company. She's the keeper of the key. Oh, I won't put this up here. I'll put this in my pocket. Oh, well, maybe I, maybe I will put it up here. Are you? Oh, we've got to do the high five. Oh, you missed again. God damn, you missed again. You missed again. <laughs> Get your Lord have mercy. Here I am. Flat tar, flat tar. We just, we just fixed it, what, not even a week ago? I know, hell. It's a. It's a booger for sure. All right, get on. Hi, doctor. Doctor. Doctor Jackson's practice is growing. What do you mean we're still short staff? He needs a good patient doctor. How do we not huh? have enough doctors to doctor all these patients? And he doesn't have the patience to sit through hundreds of resumes. I need Indeed. Indeed, you do. When you sponsor a job on Indeed, it's easier. There you go. Well, should we go redneck today?
Or do you want to go up the bumpy road? Huh? No bumpy, okay. We'll go up this side. Shades down. Well, we had a good, good uh, cup of coffee with Toga, riding with Ruby, Motorbomb, Virginia. Uh, a few of my Dave from Australia. A few of my good friends gathered up this morning. While I eat my bowl of peaches and cream, there's a song. Seems like there's a song, peaches and cream. Yeah, we're going out the same road. Ah, well, as you can see, the little heifer, she's on back here in the back, hanging on. singing the day. Oh, what beautiful music. zippity doo da Oh my God, look at right here. If I can get through the potholes, the bluest sky you ever seen. I see the, the farmer is He's already took up all of his hay. That's a good friend of mine who owns this little strip. But in fact, he's kin to me. In a way. He's kin to my kin folks. a good weekend we got to meet up with Ray Ray and uh, had a really good good fun weekend Uh, you just never know what the what the day's going to bring. I usually go over on the other side of the road right here. Ain't nobody behind me. To avoid that big bump there. Eventually the bridge will break off and fall into the gorge. But just hopefully I ain't on it. It's just a matter of time.
I love these three. There's a. There's a. Three forty acre patches right here along the river bottom. Now it gets flooded about every ten years, but they don't seem to mind. They come back after it dries out, and they'll put in a crop. This road right here is called Empire. And you have to be really careful on the Empire. I'm going to tell you what happened there. We saw a big cougar. A big, big cougar across the road right here. My wife and I saw it go across the road. About where those people are up in there. Yeah, they're putting their hunting blinds up. See that? That shell on the back of that was a was a hunting blind. Well, we have a lot of animals in this area. Little old Angelique, she's sitting back here all half as a pig in mud. Likes going and spending old Max money. This is, uh, I've mentioned it before, the Little Rock Church. Just a beautiful little church. But after COVID, so many of the churches got set up with uh, Zoom. And the preacher could uh, stand up there and, well, he could actually be in his house. And all the sermons were zoomed out to people. And they they uh, managed to get through uh, COVID by doing doing things that way. Alabama was decimated by so many deaths. I had so we lost friends. I, a dear friend of mine, his son came down. His son, well, I think he was like in his thirties. He came down with the COVID and they took him to the medical facility in Birmingham and he laid over in critical condition. The only thing that saved him, I think he was in the hospital two or three months. I mean, he was over there. The only thing that saved him was his youth. He was young and he had a good immune system and he was able to uh, survive it. And then his dad got it and his mom got it. That's my friend Jimmy and his wife, Miss Linda. Uh, it was uh, it was pretty serious here in Alabama. A lot of people was told not to take it serious, but and they died, so it seemed to work out. down over here sometimes you'll see turkeys in there oh there they are look right there look right oh man oh there's like eight or ten of them down there oh I get so excited I like turkeys now these in my neighborhood I've got 25 I've counted as many as 25 turkeys right there where I live they just wander around every, every once in a while you hear them out in the woods back there you know Especially, oh, there's, a, there's one right out there by himself. Uh, especially, I guess, during uh, when the old Tom is wanting him a little hen, he'll get out there and he does his thing, 
he'll strut around. Or just like guys do, you know, when they're getting ready to go on a date. I like this whole little valley. Well, this might be a little bit longer ride into town than we're used to. Let me go down a gear. Take a load off the motor. You know, you got to keep in mind this little motor on here, it's hauling about 1,600 pounds right now. The motorcycle itself over 1,200. Me and the girl back there. We're running down up to close to 1,600 pounds. And this little old motor just, it does good. It's, it, ain't, it ain't suffering for power. It's got pretty good torque. The couple that bought this bike new, they took care of it they loved it it was their baby and then the maniac got it me I took it into an RPM Rangers engine that never been in before I took it up in the I would holler down to the engineer and I'd say give me more power Scotty more power Scotty and Scotty always had a, his answer was we got an overload on the lithium diode. Uh oh, we got something going on here. We got trucks stopping, lights are blinking. We got we got people running around the church. Uh, I can't believe we're in the. Well, this guy's got a sign on the back of his truck that says "Action," and I wish he had showed me more action. Oh, and now he turned his lights out and grabbed another gear. He finally found where second was. See, the law says he can't be on this road. It's well marked on both ends of the road. Stay off Empire. No commercial vehicle. But we're in Alabama where the laws really don't apply. everybody enjoys this beautiful fall weather we're having here in the southeast until the next hurricane shows up it looks like they got something building up out there in the gulf now it's sort of I think it's starting to peter out a little bit because I haven't heard anything about it in the last day or two but I've been busy doing my thing. I love that house. Unfortunately, the camera is mounted on my helmet. And I only kind of took a quick glance well that really makes everybody dizzy because everywhere I move my head there's a good guy there he's a bike rider this is one rough road The law hides right over there behind the church and he waits for you to run that red light or roll through it. Not a red light, but a stop sign.
a lot of crows in that yard down there. Oh man, there's a trailer pulling a bunch of uh, skeletons. They dehydrated during the summer. Those old boys made a good living selling used boats. cousins. My cousin owns that. That used to be a coal mining thing up there. Their last name is Cups. It used to be called Cups Coal Company. C-U-P-P-S. Cups Coal Company. And David and Mike. Mike lives right back there. And they're my cousins. Now one of my cousins had a lease on 25,000 acres on the top of this ridge up here and he took all of his drag lines and, and stripped all the top burden off and took all the coal out of this area. Beautiful strip pits up on top of the mountain there. You know, deep water, very deep water. Oh, this road is rough. I wish we could play music, you know. I know y'all get tired of hearing old Mac talk and everything, but we had some music on here. I can't even make a video at home and put some music in the background. You know, if I was a, a person that made music, I would think I would like for my music to be shared for the world to hear. Now, I know they want to make some money on it, but after you've done, done your hit and you got all these commercial stations playing your music and everything, you're making money hand over fist. And for a YouTuber to share your music and show the world, showcase your music on their video, I think it'd be quite an honor. But then again, it's about the money. Now these people sing songs that are beautiful, but at the end of the day to them, they got producers, they've got all these contracts, they got everybody's got a hand in his music. His, his talent is his, but the money is theirs. They, uh, they get, a, for every time the music is played, they get a few cents. And uh, every time an album is sold, they get a few dollars, but they don't get. The majority of the money goes to the corporate lawyers. The music producers, directors, marketers, all that. And the poor singer, he gets the pocket change. So I guess I'm sure that's the reason they're trying to protect their music so that they can get whatever music, whatever money they can get out of it, out of their talent. I never had any talent, so I never had to worry about trying to get money about nothing. Y'all have seen me a hundred times coming down through here. But I try to make the story a little different each time. I love that big tree. Ooh, 
Look at that blonde right there. Oh, Lord, she's uh, Alabama's finest. she got a head full of big hair. Big hair. Big wild hair. Never know what that little uh, SUV is going to do. I think he's going to turn. Oh, go now. Look at this blonde right here. Look right here. She got a good job. Trying to get her attention. Oh, look at that. Angelique just hit me in the head. She don't like me. She don't like me uh, making a fool of myself. Watch out, little buddy. Here we are in Summit in Alabama. Got your little decorations out. No, that's not my engine rattling. That's that. That's that diesel sitting right back there. Express. Here it is Monday. Lots of people. People. I'm gonna go over and do my thing right over in here. Watch this. Old Mac is going to have a Mac attack right here. I'm going to slide through here. I'll stay right here. Well, a little heifer. Um, get us some um, you're still twisted honey get us some um, um, lasagna yeah I like lasagna let's have a salad and a lasagna for lunch Alrighty, there she go. Nah. Well, you better. No, I don't have no place to put a phone. Y'all skither on out of here. <laughs> she's. She's gonna go in there and get some groceries. <laughs> 